This was probably one of the easiest decisions I've ever made when it came to a council vote. There was never a question in my mind that congestion pricing was not the right thing to do for all five boroughs of this city, and I keep hearing that mantra today over and over again, and I agree. This is a five borough city. This is five boroughs of congestion. This is five boroughs of folks that care deeply as to who can go into Manhattan, who has the right to drive into Manhattan, and making it a class city. Five boroughs. I have congestion in Queens, this congestion in Brooklyn, this congestion all over the city. This will not affect it one bit. And for those folks that are talking about the environmental issues and the impact this is going to have on the environment, how do we know? For every land use decision on rezoning, there is at least an environmental impact study. We rezone 10 blocks. We do an environmental impact study. We add large warehouses. We do an environmental impact study. There is no environmental impact study out there that has been done by the city, by the state, by anyone who is going to show what impact this has on any of the boroughs, nevertheless the other boroughs besides Manhattan. So I guess I think it's great that everybody views this as something that's going to help the environment, and I guess at the end maybe it will. But there's nothing out there, and I do believe the city should have waited until we at least get an EIS study to actually know for a fact how it's going to affect Brooklyn to know how it's going to affect Queens and the Bronx and the subway station and the areas surrounding it where folks are going to park in order to take their cars to the parking, to the subways, and then take the subways into Manhattan. I understand the frustration. I get it. I was a state legislator. We had to deal with the MTA. We had to deal with the budget up there. So I get that. But to not know what to do and to say, well, we need to try it. We need to do it. It's just to me, not responsible unless we know exactly what the impact is going to be. But again, I'll end, I will be a no vote as majority leader, but again, I do think it was a good discussion to have out there on the MTA and how we do the funding. Uh, and so I thank you, but I do urge a no vote, especially since we have no oversight over the MTA. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next we have council